Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm going to give you the 2000 or late 2000 edition tour of the DCR Cave. Um, now the DCR Cave is where I do most of my gadget testing, or at least all the indoor testing anyway. So that's where I shoot a lot of videos, and it's where I house a boatload of gadgets. Literally, basically just a crap ton of gadgets. Um, now, as the name implies, it is actually underground. In fact, we are in the DCR Cave right now, as sketchy as this may be. Technically, this is the cove to the cave. Um, so here in, in Paris, this is known as the coves, and it's underground, um, just like mine is. And in fact, we will walk right to it now. Um, this is actually the tunnels that connect uh, different portions of the different coves together. So you can go down here and you'll be able to find people's storage and stuff like that. It's also how we get the treadmill into the cave and other large objects. Um, but basically it's pretty sketchy. Like you look here and you see uh, there's scratch marks up here of like one, two, three, like, an, like was someone kept down here? I don't know, I'm not asking questions I don't want answers to. Um, so we will flip around and here is the, basically the door through to the DCR cave from underground. This is the bathroom. I actually have a shower and everything down here. Um, and then this here itself is the magical cave. Uh, so it probably looks big on the camera there, um, in part because it's a GoPro, in part because everything looks bigger on camera than it does in real life. And that is definitely the case here. Um, the cave is maybe like four meters, yeah, about that 15 feet or so across at, at best. Um, it's not very long. I can almost stretch up my hands and reach across this way. So I'm gonna give you a tour of all the cool stuff that's in here, uh, starting off with the drone corner. And by the way, apologies for the odd lighting. You'll see different colors of lights in here. Uh, there's different lights out there than in here, just sort of the way it works. Um, so this is the drone corner. I got drones in here, at least all the ones that I tend to use or don't use as much anymore. Um, so I've got like the different Phantom series right there, the Air Dog, a Hexo, GoPro Karma. Uh, and then down here, I've got the uh, DJI, let's see, Spark. And then I've got the DJI Mavic that's floating around here somewhere. Um, I really tend to use the Spark the most as well as the Mavic. On the table, I've got a waterproofing chamber. So this allows me to test units. I can put them inside there. I fill it up with water. And then I use this little tablet here to basically automate tests of units down to different depths. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, down below, I've got a Sono speaker. I've got just mostly like extra cables for uh, this one. Here's a microphone, but uh, all these tablets and a lot of phones and stuff down there and batteries. And this is the compressor system for the waterproofing chamber up there. Over here, uh, we've got sort of like a leftovers area. So this is another drone, uh, an extra one I've got. I've got a bunch of cables. These are all actually just mini micro and USB-C charging cables. That is purely it. That's all that should be in here is those two connectors and extenders as well for that category. Um, some more drone stuff, kind of a charging station in there. So this is really the most organized section, uh, more drone batteries and stuff but it kind of works. Up here used to be my unboxing table, but these days it just sort of piles up with stuff. Uh, a lot of extra boxes of Phoenix units, uh, a lens, wide angle lens, and then some cameras. Um, below the cameras, this turntable though, actually goes around and around automatically. I can control it via my phone, and I can put things on top of it and get kind of like some of the cool shots you see in videos and stuff that I do. So over here, we've got bibs, mostly from uh, here in France and a couple around Europe. Uh, metals are all the same. So anything from like North America before I moved over to Europe uh, five and a half years ago isn't on here. And then down below here, we've got just trainers piling up. It's the name of the game here. Trainers pile up everywhere in this place. So many trainers, it's nuts. And then up here, we have the shelving. Uh, so. Each one of these bins um, has stuff that's semi-organized in it. Uh, it used to be more organized, but as I've run out of space in here, uh, one of the reasons why I'm getting a new cave is that this just becomes sort of a rat's nest. Uh, but there are things that are super organized. The uh, famous heart rate strap drawer. This is just purely heart rate straps. That's all it is, just heart rate straps. Uh, and even like a heart rate strap bra on there as well. Um, so purely just heart rate straps. Uh, down below we have like, Garmin Verb accessories, and then purely just GoPro accessories. Uh, so GoPro mounts of all sorts and side batteries, um, even like, you know, water bottle mounts for GoPros. I mean, it's all in there. Most of the stuff is just GoPro branded stuff in this drawer, but things like the water bottle mount do slip in. Like you see, it's just so stuffed. I can't even like close it anymore half the time. Uh, device chargers, sensors, batteries. Uh, and then down here we have the big device bin. So. This is purely just watches for the most part uh, and like bike computers. 
Um, there shouldn't be charges in here unless it's like permanently fixed to something. Like this is the old bedded um, bed sleep mattress sensor thing and the charger you can see kind of like wander through there is attached to it permanently. Uh, but it's just a lot and a lot, a lot of watches. It's really kind of nuts. Uh, you know, Recon Jet, uh, may it rest in peace. Google Glass, may it rest in peace and so on. Down below of my awesome park tool set. Uh, I bought this a couple years back because I needed a way to swap out all the things that came in uh, for testing for bikes and I was tired of not having the right tools. So it's like a massive um, a tool set. I'll link to it down below. Uh, it's sort of my favorite. And then I've just got random tools up here that, you know, everything from like uh, Office Depot scissors to torque wrenches, a way to weigh things right there. Um, the bit lock, bike lock, that's, I don't think that ever actually came to fruition. That was what I got from Kickstarter, but I don't think it actually works. Uh, and then boxes, just lots of boxes that are, you know, in theory unboxed, some that aren't unboxed. As you can see here, like these ND filters from Polar Pro for GoPro that I bought. Someday I'll get around to unboxing those and actually using them. Uh, and then on this side here down below, we've got uh, basically just bike parts. So, you know, things like here you can see DI2 chargers, some water bottle stuff. Uh, this is like cassettes and, uh, you know, here is a, it's a cork powder meter. Uh, we have an SRM one right there. These are all the ones I, I own. Um, so some uh, Asioma pedals right there, chilling about. Uh, again, just mostly like bike components and stuff. Um, more than the stuff I'm testing. So it's kind of like leftover stuff that I have from different tests. Uh, and then we have another trainer corner in here. So tons and tons of trainers just stacked up. Again, that's the name of the game. Trainers everywhere. Uh, bikes stacked up. Um, in theory, the bikes are using these little like, these are called clug, I think. Um, they plug on the wall, but in practice, they fall off constantly. And so you can actually see the girl's bike right here is the one in front. It's fallen off, but managed to stay upright somehow. So yeah, it's sort of unfortunate. Uh, behind that are all of, um, like lanyards from media events and press events. You can see the Tour de France press photo that just fell off the wall. My Tour de France credentials behind it, the Giro credentials behind that, uh, Tour de Honor down there and so on. So lots of stuff. And then this pretty nifty, um, uh, basically like size watch comparison thing that uh, my father-in-law made me that sort of mimics the um, rolling pins that I do for unboxing uh, comparisons and stuff like that. So up there, those are mostly just really old watches. Uh, that don't really kind of compare to anything anymore. So back over here to this side, uh, I've got, let me adjust the camera, there we go. So these are all trainers that I'm sort of testing right now or just using more frequently. So got the stack zero in the corner back there. That's a totally silent trainer because uh, it uses magnets and stuff, super cool. Here in the middle, I've got the Wahoo Kicker 3 or the 2017 edition. Um, and then here I've got the Watt Bike Atom. This is going back, I think, tomorrow or the next day. Um, so they're ready to pick this up here shortly and get it out of my cave. It's, uh, my review is done with that, so it's back to them. Up here we have the, let's see, light. This basically shows me, let me adjust the camera, there we go, um, decibel levels for trainer volume noise. So you can see the yellow just triggered right there. Uh, it's a really simple way to explain how quiet or loud something is um, versus actual decibel levels, which are really complex for people to understand. So I just have that, I've got configured to certain levels. And then here is uh, one of my many tripods. So a Manfrotto tripod with a, the shark, um, iFooted shark slider there. So I can kind of get these like perfect um, you know, slider shots like this, uh, super cool. And then I've got a big ass uh, tripod head on top of it and then the D500 uh, from Nikon there uh, with a lens. By the way, you can see my camera lens. Um, so if I go zoom out here, you might be able to see it more easily got chipped off the front there. That's because it went flying off the treadmill one day. Um, yeah, it just sort of went right off the back. I didn't, it was a long story. Um, anyway, so over here in the corner, I've got um, my TV. It's a really small TV. It's somewhat disappointing for a cave of this level of awesomeness to have this tiny little TV in the corner. I didn't really think this part through, um, but you got lift up there, of course, right now. This is like the corner of bags back there. So <laughs> like the, the Karma backpack, I've got some backpack that gave it inner bike, um, my regular GoPro backpack, the fake GoPro backpack below that, shark slider stuff, wetsuits in there. Um, oh yeah. This is all just weight scales, almost all Wi-Fi weight scales. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think there. Uh, there's like three or four more at the house. One just came in today. Um, oh yeah, that's my uh, my driller. You can never have too many drills around. That's just one of many. Um, and then 
the treadmill itself. Um, so this treadmill is rocking like all treadmills do for most people, uh, and that is just simply sitting there holding boxes. Uh, but in this case, this is my new bike build. So the bike just came in the frame right here, came in um, Monday. It's a, a Canyon bike that I bought, and then all the parts that I bought down below there uh, to go ahead and build it up for like a new test bed bike. Uh, so look forward to that here in the next week or so as I get some time to get it all built up. But right now all the parts are there, minus the wheels. The wheels haven't come in yet, but I'm not super concerned about that at the moment. So I think that is it. Let me get this straightened out. I think that is a tour of the DCR cave. Um, as I said, this is all underground. If I go upstairs, uh, it is the girl space, my wife's space. It's a bakery actually uh, for like custom cakes and stuff like that. And then outside is, it's Paris, center of Paris. Uh, the river's right there. Um, we're kind of right next to Notre Dame. So pretty cool stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. I just wanna give you a quick update on where the cave stands. Um, you'll continue to see videos in the cave for the next little while. And then uh, as we go into the new year, I've got a new cave location that I'm, I'm working on now, trying to find. Uh, it's gonna be hopefully a lot bigger. Um, I might, may or may not be on the ground still, we'll see. Uh, but I am out of space here. This place is normally never this clean, but with the DCR cave open house this past Saturday, I removed like a ton of boxes, stuck them upstairs, made a bigger mess in a different area, and then just uh, figured now's a good time for a video. So with that, thanks for watching. Go and whack that like button down below if you found this interesting, or hit the subscribe button if you want more sports technology awesomeness. Have a good one.